So let's go. Let's create our project and the terrain. I have the Hecras window, so I'll go to File, Save Project As, and I want to save it in this folder here that I have in my desktop. So I go to my folder that I want, desktop, Hecras course, this is great, and a title that I'm going to call it Hecras course. Great. And OK. And I already have a project name and the file. And this is very important because uh, everything will be safe in this uh, link. So, and then the next step is go to RAS Mapper. That is this window over here. And let's talk a little bit about the projection. Uh, in this case, it's, this is important to know where, where you are working uh, when you work in the different parts of the world. In this case, uh, you can see here UTM, that is Universal Transversal Mercator, and I'm going to be working in Norway, that is uh, 32 North. Uh, and there is a page that I like very much, that is this one over here, that is spatialreference.org. And I have already looked for my 32 uh, North uh, um, uh, reference and I want to use this one over here so I click on it and I can download the uh, projection file. Uh, I have already saved this in my folder in the projection file so I can look for it. I, I really recommend this structure. It's super useful when working with this kind of model. I can go to project, set projection and open the window and go to the projection file, the one that I have downloaded and open this page. ETRS89 uh, UTM32 North. Very good. Uh, so I have the projection and I can create a new raster terrain. Uh, I have my DTM in the terrain folder, raster 0.05, and I can download it. I recommend to change where the terrain is set. This is the default, but I rather to save it in a terrain folder or something alike. Uh, for example, the rain test, yeah, and save and create. This terrain is uh, coming from LIDAR data, LIDAR data and has a very good resolution. Uh, it also covers the bathymetric data that is usually more difficult to find but it's great to have it for the purpose of this uh, tutorial. It should take a little bit of time, uh, depending on the power of your computer or how large your terrain is, but this will be soon ready. Terrain complete. Great. Close. And this is the terrain we will be using. Uh, yes, this is... Uh, large floodplains, the river starts here and goes this direction. We can even see the elevations as we moved over the DTM. And to check if we're in the right place, we can go to my player, add web imagery, and I like Google Satellite, click OK. And here we can check if, yes, we are in the right spot. So this is totally recommended. And with the terrain ready and loaded, we are uh, ready to, to start uh, defining our geometry. Uh, so good luck. Hope it is useful. Bye-bye.